it's a beautiful day. Why is that? Because I have two sisters here. All right, but it's Kelsey. <laughs> so um, it's the last part of Jacob chapter one for me, verses nine through seventeen, I believe. And um, they just talk about a few different things. One about Nephi being a great leader, and it just says um, he is honored in the memory of being a great leader forever because he protected, he defended, and he served. And so those are the qualities that we find endearing in leaders. And I thought that was um, a great thing to point out is that when our political representatives, because they're not our leaders, when our political representatives defend and serve and protect, that endears them to the people. And when they pretend to protect, defend, and serve, then that also endears them to the people. But I just found that very interesting, that that is what are the three qualities that made Nephi such a great leader. Um, and then it talks about magnifying your calling. And... Uh, Okay, it says, Jacob is responsible and accountable for his stewardship. He will take the sins of the people upon his own head if he fails to teach them the word of God with all diligence. And I thought that applied to us and our families and our children, um, those under our stewardship. So, like parents, Wendy and I were talking yesterday about Martin. It's like, if he doesn't teach his children, he will be held accountable. And the same goes for all of us. If we don't teach them with all that we have, we will be held accountable. Yes, they have their free agency, and we do too. But if we don't teach them how to use that agency properly, then that's on our heads. Um, and he says, um, he goes, let us resolve to make a list of priorities of things we are responsible and accountable for. And then ensure that we do those things with all faith, diligence, and patience. And I thought that was an interesting... Yeah, you can come in. Huh? <gasps> my baby! Hi! Hi, my love. I thought that was um interesting activity that we as individuals could try. Make a list of what we are responsible... Hannah, will you flip on the lights? Uh, what we are responsible for. Really take accountability for the things that we are responsible for. And it also says if we do any of our callings, church callings, or um, other grudgingly, we are also held accountable for that. And um, I know it's sometimes hard to be like, oh my goodness, I gotta go to primary again. Or the young women's leader is so annoying, I just wanna quit. I'm not talking about you, Marin. No, never. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, that's a book. Then that's going to be answered upon our heads. We need to magnify our calling. And then it gave a little story about Wilford Woodruff, about magnifying his calling. And he, he prayed for a greater calling. It was his desire to serve the Lord. And he prayed for that. He prayed for that. And it was granted unto him. So I thought that was interesting as well. That if we feel like we are not being fulfilled at a certain level, we can pray for a higher calling and we, that may be answered unto us. So anyways, I'm very excited that I have all my, well, almost all my family here. I wish everybody was here, but um, we're going to have a great day. We had a great day yesterday and I love you all and we'll see you soon.